All right, so I just uploaded the video, basically that's mostly of the Chinese Pintora. And now I got nothing to do, so let's work on this one. The 92 250X. Um, so yeah, I, it didn't start in the last video because someone's got the fuel valve in the wrong orientation right now. You see, that's all the way to the left, which would be on, and then this is halfway, and that would be reserve. So that's why I wasn't starting. Um, someone's got this crazy piece of plastic on here off something, and it's leaking an amazing amount of oil. Now the dude did tell me it leaked oil, but I did not really even check it out because once it ran, I was like, whatever. Um, so I'll put it in gear and we'll flip it up on its back. And then we'll flip it up here in a second. Let's put the gas back to, come on now. Off, that's off. Now someone did put a, uh, does look like someone put a Chinese carb on it. No big deal. Um, and yeah, basically it, someone didn't put this on right. Um, what else can we do? It does have some nice OD grips on there. It's kind of unfortunate for all this machine. I did notice that the reverse cable is not hooked up, but I usually don't even use those reverse cables. Actually, it looks like the whole thing's missing off the side there. Um, I usually don't even use those. I would just zip tie it back. And yeah, there's a, the decompression mechanism is missing as well. But I mean, it still starts. So let's see if we can figure anything out with the leaky drink plug. Now the dude said he took the drain plug out and there was like a little bit of rubber stuff on that crush washer and then he took the rubber stuff off. So let's see what happens. And no oil should come out since we, uh, since we did put it up on its back here. Could be stripped out too. It doesn't feel the tightest on the threads. Frame's really not that bad of shape on this thing. Now it does look like the threads are a little boogered up. Let me look up what the right thread pitch is on this thing. All right, so I did look it up. It is a 12 by 1.5. So this is a thread chaser, different from a tap. And I figure we'll just throw it in here and see what happens. I mean, you can see here it's a little bit yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of wallered out. Um, so there's two different things we can do. We can just put some, uh, we can put some, uh, go -go, we can put some Teflon tape on it and put it in there, see what happens. Or they make these like uh, drain bolt things you can put in here. Let's see if they make one on Amazon. All right, so this is the uh, Amazon doodad. Now it is 25 bucks. I don't really want to spend a bunch of money on this thing, but this is a good fix. And that way the next owner doesn't have to have any problems. So this big piece goes in and then this center is what unscrews. So I'm gonna order that up. But for now, we'll put a little Teflon tape on there and plug it back in.
All right, let's see what's going on here with this crazy wrap stuff. They got this crazy piece of metal on top. Honestly, the piece of metal is not that bad. It covers it up. The next thing I want to do is uh, cut these fenders so they don't look crazy. You know, see what we can do. Cut them this way, cut them that way. So let's see what we can do there. All right, so obviously there's some limitations here with, you know, what's already broken and what's not. And I don't really feel like going to get a different tool and swapping out blades. So we're gonna try and use this. But, uh, so let's just see what we can do here. We just freehand this. All right, let's go with that and let's see what we can make sure that we're going to cut anything in here. Maybe let's take this off real quick. poked out this uh, is bent back or something here maybe you can just bend this take it off or something we'll just leave it now I wonder if we can use this or the other piece for something going on there or maybe even the gas tank cover I wonder if we can do something with this fender here. I don't know. I don't know what we can do. I mean, it's pretty bangled. <laughs> I mean, but the funny thing is, is this light is mounted solid and it's mounted solid in there and it works. That's the funny part. Yeah, that's a perfect size too, so. Maybe I start by, maybe I start with tracing this hole, cutting out the hole, and then going from there. Okay, so I went and took off, went and took off this uh, piece of plastic off one of my other machines, and we'll be able to do a trace, trace it. Okay, so there is our shape. Let's see if we can cut it out now. Okay, so I went and got my hole saw, and this is roughly the same hole saw size as that. And I'm just gonna drill it out. 
go with the centering hole. Roughly in the center. closer to it looking like an actual cover. Interesting. All right, we're making progress. It looks more and more like a gas tank cover. This is where I've gotten with our tank cover out of our random pieces of plastic. Um, I'm contemplating on drilling some holes and zip tying this together. I don't know. I guess maybe I should investigate what, what this is right here. Okay, there is a uh, some crazy nut thing. Hmm. Well, we're not going to use that. I don't know what I'm going to use yet, but this thing actually fits pretty good just for a random piece of plastic. Maybe it goes down like that a little bit more. So I'll drill the two holes in the front and then you know, the stock one's got little tabs that stick out. Um, but I think, I think I'll just drill some holes for some zip ties and we'll just do zip ties. All right, I've decided we are going full zip tie mode on this thing because the plastics are messed up anyways. They're all being held up by zip ties. So, you know, we all love zip ties. Looks like we're missing a bolt for the gas tank, but that's besides the fact. So, what I should do here is I'm going to put one right here, one right there. Oh man, we got a crack right there, so we'll put this one over here, and this one right here. Maybe we'll redo these. We'll do these more towards the corner here. <laughs> I'll do one here. Here, boom, boom. Love it. Drill, baby, drill. Check that out. Now let's see if the gas tap fits. Look at that. I mean, shit, it looks better than it did before. All right, so I just cleaned it up a little bit. We finished up the fenders, cutting the fenders. This is our gas tank cover now. It actually came out pretty good, all things considered. Uh, our race cut is not exactly beautifully perfect, symmetrical, but you know, whatever, I guess. Um, it is what it is. This isn't a beauty, a beauty queen. I took off the uh, heel guards because those things go for a pretty penny and I'll use those on one of my bikes. And I'm gonna go ahead and leave on the work shocks because they are rough. They are very rough. Um, they, need bushings that need rebuilt. And I figure it's a good selling point for this thing to justify what I'm asking for it, which is a thousand doll hairs. 
And also this, oh gosh, Siri. This bumper is not the right one for this four-wheeler. You can see it's missing a spacer down there. It must be for like a 250R or a 400EX or something. But for you know, from what it, from what it started as, it's not bad, you know. And for a thousand bucks, I mean, it's still Honda, you know. Someone has replaced the rear brake caliper. You can tell because the caliper is smaller than the OEM one and it has that block off. Someone has put a newer chain on it, so that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, I just posted this thing up for a thousand bucks. Let's see, Let's see if I can show you the, show you the ad. So it looks pretty good in the pictures. And I mean, like I said, it's not a bad bike. It's not great. You can see I'm showcasing my beautiful gas tank cover. I'm actually pretty proud of that considering what it was before the gas tank cover came out pretty awesome so i'll let you know what i end up selling this for and then we'll see what happens when i get these parts in and what this sells for all right amazon came by we got our new throttle cable here a new throttle we probably won't use this other than to replace this piece right here because it's bent up maybe we don't even do anything to it maybe i'll just save this and then new battery and then our timing plugs hopefully these one of these will work uh had someone come look at this bike today i have it listed for 900 bucks and i think they want to buy it actually matter of fact i think they want to buy both so let's go ahead and get this thing fixed up and turn this baby into some cash that one definitely fits better so we're going with that one. All right, let's give it a whirl. Okay, let's see if uh, one of these timing plugs works. So these are, look how cheap these are. I just opened the bag. Look at that. Let's open another one. Came with like three different sets, which I think they're all the same. Yes, this one is better. Still not great, but nonetheless, there's already an O-ring on there. Perfect. Let's tighten that up. Okay, that's tight. All right, I got this thing all done up. We're all done here. Get my tools off. I put the, uh, the only thing I haven't done is um, air that tire. But I put the battery in. That battery box is in there tight. Now the seat does not really fit on here right as far as the front latch, but I did get the back latch on. So I'm gonna hook this phone up to our mount here, which I'm not sure how good the footage is gonna be on our first ride. All right, might be a little vibrate -y. a little vibration. Give it a shot. Oh my gosh, this thing is, this thing is Chinese as it all get out, brother. Let's see what happens here.
actually not that bad. Alright, so I just took this thing for a test drive with a flat tire. Ooh, that thing's flat as can be. I mean, it's not terrible. It's, I feel like this thing would really benefit with a from a good carburetor. And maybe take that baffle out. I don't know what I'm going to do here. I really like to just sell it the way it is, but... Anywho... I also haven't uh, shown you the funny stickers on this thing, which funny thing is, is the dude was Hispanic. Shit show crew, you're as bad as useful as a white crayon. This one I like, the asshole merit badge. <laughs> oh, love it. Thick boy. I mean, it seems to run all right. It does not have a rev limiter, that's for sure. All right, if you notice, we're missing a four wheeler. I sold the Pintura 250 this morning for a thousand bucks. So now we got this left, it's Saturday, uh, probably the day before this video is gonna come out. So next thing is this Honda, and I got a dude on the hook for 850, he's gonna come right now. However, the problem is, is I have not put in this, uh, let's see here, I have not put in this drain bolt repair thing. Uh, I don't know what you wanna call it, this repair dude. let's see what it says here. Oh wait, I threw the other bag away, I think. Um, but I'll put a link in the description and maybe like a little tag here in the video. But as you can see, this little screw comes out in the middle. It uses O-rings. And I think this might even be tapered a little bit or something. I don't know. I think this might um, dig into the, uh, the aluminum. I don't know. I think this might be a little bit tapered or maybe a little oversized because this is for strip threads. So I'm not exactly how, how it works. We'll figure it out together. All right, let's put this baby on. First thing first, we're gonna turn the gas off. That should be gas off right there, put it in gear. Honestly, the uh, it does leak oil, but I think it's leaking from this gasket here for the clutch cover. But this is not leaking. Um, but just for the sake of the video and doing the right thing, we're gonna put this other drain plug in. Originally, had both of these four wheelers sold for eighteen hundred or no sixteen hundred to some guy. He came and looked at them, and it was actually before I got the Ventura fixed up. And uh, he's like, yeah, get it, get it running, and I'll buy both of them for $1,600. And I talked to him on the phone a couple times. And then he's like, well, can you put a different carburetor on the Pintura? That way it runs better. I was like, sure. Uh, and then he ghosted me. So works out for the better because it looks like I'll be making more money this way. Now, let's make sure this thing's going to fit here. 
Now, this little screw in the middle comes off and there's an O-ring on here. This is just an Amazon special. It's actually really nice quality. It has a little O-ring in there and comes with everything you need, all kinds of crush washers and, and O-rings and it comes with the Allen key. So have the O-ring on there right there. And let's see the threads in. Go any tighter than that, but that's tight too. And now the drain plug is good. Turn the gas back on. You don't want to run it too long. We don't want it to get really warm, but let's just make sure it runs before the guy gets here. Literally first start, first kick. All right, I'm confident this is gonna be a good machine for this guy. Yeah, for the money at least, 750 bucks. And uh, we'll see what happens. All right, the dude's literally loading up right now. He's loading up the Honda. You can see right there. Sold. All right, so I've just finished editing basically the whole video, and it's almost 30 minutes long. So we're not going to work on this one and this video, but I just wanted to go over what everything costs. Um, I'm going to return these because a it came with three sets, and uh, the one was really bad. So don't tell uh, Amazon. One's missing. Um, the battery was 23 bucks, throttle cable was 10 bucks, so we'll just say 34 bucks. And then, and this was 16, basically 17 bucks, so basically $50. We'll just say I got $50 in the two machines, and I sold them for $18.50. I paid $800 plus the $50 in parts, so that's $850. So I made even $1,000 in probably two or three afternoons of work. Um, honestly, probably one or two afternoons of work, but you know, videoing makes things a little bit more complicated. So that's end for this video. I want to hear from you in the comments if you want to see this 300EX next or if you want to see the Can-Am. And we're basically at 500 subscribers. We're at 496 right now. I'm sure by the time this video goes live, it'll be, you know, nothing but an hour or two before we hit 500, uh, if not before the video uploads. So I appreciate all my subscribers and everyone who's been following along. And if you're just following along because YouTube keeps suggesting it because you've watched the videos, please subscribe. If you just, just hit the damn button, just subscribe. And that really like shows me that people are watching and want to continue watching and like, I mean, I do this stuff on the side just as fun, um, but when you subscribe, it tells me it's worth my time to whip out the phone or the camera and edit this stuff. So appreciate everything. See you hopefully next weekend or next week or something. <laughs>